Hey guys, today I'm going to make a guide on how to install an unturned server on Linux more specifically. This is going to be for Ubuntu and this is an update from the last video because that one uh, got outdated like three months after I uploaded it. So here's a new proper and probably more longer lasting way to do it. So basically I'm just going to be following these two links right here. I'll leave them in the description and these are where I'm going to get the commands from that I put in. So if you're following along, just go here and then copy everything that I've typed in pretty much. So once you're in your server, the first command you're going to type in is uh, adding a new user called Steam. And then you want to change into that new user that you just created. And then what you want to do next is install Steam, Steam CMD. And so according to the page, you can just type this in and it'll work but that's for 32-bit systems and if you're on 64 there's a section right below it that has four more commands that you need to type in so I'm gonna type those in cuz I'm on a 64-bit system And then once you've done that, you're going to create a link to the Steam CMD. And uh, I already have that, so it told me it failed to create it. But if you do it, it shouldn't tell you that. And then once you do that, I believe you're good to go. So now what you want to do is log into the Steam user, uh, like so. And then open the Steam CMD application. And then it should start updating some stuff. So now um, we're in the Steam CMD and all you need to do is type in the commands to s install the unturned server. So first you're going to log in as anonymous. And then once that finishes, you can, here I'll retype it, uh, change the uh, directory to wherever you want the unturned server installed. For me, I'm just going to keep it in the home Steam and then create a new folder called unturned. And then what you want to do next is actually um, start downloading it so it's app underscore update one 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 zero three nine zero and I believe you type uh, dash validate after it and then that should start downloading it and then once that finishes um, downloading you can hit quit and then from here you can log in back to your um, usual user on your machine and then if I ls, I should have a new folder called unturned. And if I uh, navigate to that directory and then ls again, I see all the files that are associated with the unturned server. And if I want to start it, it's um, the server helper script. According to the wiki, it says to add this plus internet server parameter. And then after that, you call it whatever you want. And then hit enter and it should start launching. However, in my past experiences, it usually crashes on the first time and I have to restart my machine. I don't know why it's happened to me um, numerous amounts of times, so I wouldn't worry if it crashes the first time. Yeah, just like there. So uh, I'm going to restart it and be right back. So now I'm back and I'm going to um, launch it again and hopefully this time it won't crash. Okay, so now that I rebooted it and started it, it works without crashing. So if you wanted to go ahead and join, you can. So the second part of this is to get um, Rocket Mod up and working. So usually you would type in like a link and get it from somewhere, um, but that's not the case anymore. It's actually built into the game's files. So it's technically built into this um, extras directory right here called rocket.unturned. And then what you want to do is move it to the modules directory. So you can copy. So now you can copy everything uh, or the entire rocket mod folder actually into the um, modules directory. And then if I change directory into modules, I sh should see it in there. So 
now you can start up your server and hopefully everything will be working uh, and then when you start it up to see if it's working you can just see all these commands pop up right here and that's how you know uh, rocket mod is working in your server if I go into my LAN, I can see my server pop up right here. I can hit join and everything should be working fine.